Uh, Chief Marshal Dowling, sir. You do realize, Dowding, the position this puts us in? I realize that the French have been promised this squadron by Churchill, personally. He's given the French Prime Minister his word. You do appreciate, Dowding, that Churchill will have to see this. That's why I wrote it. Take your chosen dinky toy and put it in a warm water. Add caustic soda. This will remove all of the paint and reveal a nice shiny dinky toy. Now take it out of the water after about 30 minutes, maybe 45, depending on how you feel. Purchase some very fine wire wool from the DIY store. This is normally used by French publishers. This will take all the tarnish off the metal ready for the etching primer. The etching primer will dig into the metal and allow your base coat of fine base primer then to be applied. This will stop the paint from chipping off finally. Next here you can see I'm adding tape to the dinky toy. This is purely so you can emphasize the panel lines. And what we do here is we just add using an airbrush some black matte paint. And when this paint is applied, you may think, well, this doesn't look too good, but trust me, it'll all turn out right in the end. And so you can see in this clip here that the uh, panels have now been emphasized with the black paint. And there now it's ready for the base coat. The base coat needs to be a mixture of 50% thinners and 50% uh, paint. Mix this all up, put it into your airbrush, and you're all nice and ready to, to go. So here is your base coat of paint, which is obviously blue because the model is, well, broadly blue all over. Uh, now it looks a little bit stark here, but don't forget this is just your base coat. You have to add another coat of paint. Now here's your final coat going on and I'm just about to turn the model over and you will see that the panel lines have now become translucent. This is the effect you're trying to achieve with, throughout the model.
this is where we are now. Uh, the main part of the painting is complete. I've put a, a clear, um, clear coat of lacquer over it and I've now masked up the front of the nose. Now I did all of this off camera because if I'm being honest with you, this took about an hour to achieve and wasting valuable video time showing you how I did it would be just boring and you, you wouldn't appreciate it. So it's all masked up and ready to go. The airbrush has been charged up with air and uh, I'll just do a little bit of a test there. Get it through. Yeah, it's coming through. Okay.